Good morning, everybody. It's always great to be with my partner in the Senate. We always say we're the one-two punch for Michigan. And this bill is really great for Michigan, the bill that we are about to have a final vote on. And uh, let me first just say that, that you know, as we work in a whole number of ways on infrastructure, I'm really glad to see the five and a half million dollars going to Midland now to deal with what has happened with the dam break and everything. And what this bill is gonna do is create resources to do a lot of uh, the things that we need to rebuild Michigan that are so critical. So I'm gonna go through just a few things. Um, Senator Peters and I have worked on all of these things together, but we'll each touch on some different pieces. And I also uh, just wanna say that when I'm writing a <clears throat> five-year farm bill, I, I usually say Michigan's on every page. I'd have to say, I think Michigan's just about on every page <laughs> of this bill as, as well. So, um, you know, big picture roads, highways, bridges, it, over the next five years, the bill gives Michigan about a 31% increase in federal funding to rebuild roads and bridges, which is really, really important. Great Lakes, um, this bill has the biggest single investment in our Great Lakes Restoration Initiative. It's a $1 billion investment that is going to do a number of things, uh, including give us additional resources as we're moving forward to modernize the Sioux Locks, which is so very important, um, and also deal with the shoreline erosion and, and other issues. I know Senator Peters is going to talk about the, what has happened along the, the damage uh, from the climate crisis and so on. So this is a big investment. The next thing is that uh, I make it in America Act uh, to strengthen our Buy American law is in here. And uh, it's bottom line, it's gonna ensure that American tax dollars are used for American products, American services, uh, the construction uh, that and the materials that uh, are gonna be paid for in this bill. It also creates a, a permanent Make It in America office so that there's oversight and compliance because we know in the past there's been uh, loopholes in the law. So we've tightened that up. And we're also creating the opportunity for more small and medium sized American manufacturers, many, many of those in Michigan to have more opportunities to uh, provide products for federally funded transportation projects. The next thing is electric vehicles. Um, we're gonna, for the first time, we are now saying yes, part of our infrastructure long-term is making sure those charging stations are there on uh, the, off the federal highways, the road systems, making the charging stations more convenient as we move to uh, electric vehicles. And then water infrastructure. Lord knows we don't need uh, to have to explain the critical nature of what happens with lead-based pipes. Uh, and uh, every lead-based pipe uh, in America we're focusing on to replace. This is a very important priority to protect people's health and safety of communities. So that's in there as well as a focus on addressing PFAS, which we know is so critical to Michigan. And then the final thing I would just mention is high-speed internet. We've got uh, about a million people in Michigan that don't have high-speed internet right now, uh, not you know, certainly in rural areas, uh, but also in urban areas as well. And this is the first really major comprehensive effort to address high-speed internet. And coming out of COVID, we now understand uh, just how essential this is, whether it's our kids uh, going to school, whether it's a small business or a farm, whether it's healthcare. So much of our healthcare has been uh, virtual through telemedicine and so on. And so we have to get high-speed internet uh, across Michigan and across the country. And what we are uh, at this point doing is acknowledging, yes, this is part of infrastructure in the 21st century. So a uh, lot here, uh, bottom line is it's great for Michigan. 